हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट पैराबोला सो दिस इज द लेक्चर इंट्रोडक्शन टू पैराबोला एंड देन वी विल आल्सो सी सम वीडियोस अबाउट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पैराबोला इन फिजिक्स देयर आर मेनी प्लेसेस लाइक पैराबोलिक मिरर पैराबोलिक ट्रैजेक्टरी ऑफ अ पॉइंट व्हेन इट इज प्रोजेक्टेड सो लेट अस सी अ पैराबोला whose graph is like this this is an example of a right opening parabola whose vertex is at origin this is called vertex so what is the equation of a parabola how do we derive it how do we draw this graph these are all related to the concept of eccentricity which you have studied in ellipse also in ellipse you remember we studied that eccentricity is less than 1 in case of parabola eccentricity is equal to 1 so please go through the videos of ellipse you will better understand now so eccentricity is 1 which means that if we take a point which is called focus and let us suppose its coordinate is a comma 0 and let us take a line which is called directrix and its equation is x is equal to y plus a so we have a point focus we have a line directrix which were also in case of ellipse but eccentricity there was less than 1 here eccentricity is equal to 1 so what was eccentricity if we take a point anywhere such that its distance from the focus divided by its distance from the directrix it is actually eccentricity and in case of parabola it is equal to 1 which simply means that this length ps is equal to pm so one point is definitely we can see which is on the parabola that point is origin because the distance here is a and the distance here is also a this is x is equal to y is a this is x is equal to plus a magnitude wise both is a so this is a point which is on the parabola but there are many other points also so if we do ps is equal to pm and let us take a point x comma y i will not go into the derivation part because it is not pure mathematics we are introducing it, uh, the concept of application in physics so if you do ps you take the distance of this line which is x minus a whole square plus y minus 0 whole square and under root of that is equal to pm this distance is actually x plus a this is x this is a magnitude wise so this is x plus a now when you will square both the sides simplify it which is a very simple mathematical calculation you will come across a final result which is y square is equal to 4ax this is the equation of parabola which we will get and the graph of that parabola is basically written like this because here y is a square what it means it means that about x axis the graph is symmetrical whether you take plus y or you take minus y a square will eventually be same so it is symmetrical about x axis but it is not in the negative x axis it is in the positive x axis because this x you have to take positive only because a is a positive quantity and y square is also a positive quantity which is a square so y can be negative and positive but x has to be positive so the graph is like this which is the graph of the parabola so sir i think this makes uh, sense to students yeah. also <coughs> and this is i think enough for student to apply in physics because they are also getting idea of how to derive the equation and what is the final form of equation and all the properties like whether x or y can be negative positive and what are the values of values x and y coordinates so you can now come to the concept that what are the different cases which are basically seen in parabola 
I'm not about talking about any general parabola. I'm taking very simple four cases. So if you take a parabola, which is right opening parabola, we call it a right opening parabola, and why it is called so. I don't think I need to explain it to you. You can see the figure and say, yeah, it is right opening parabola. Is this has the equation y square is equal to 4ax, where the focus is a comma 0 and directrix is x is equal to minus a. We have a parabola which is called left opening parabola, whose focus is minus a comma 0 and directrix is x is equal to a. Just interchange both the things and this equation will be y square is equal to yeah you're right it is minus 4a x then we have a parabola which is upward opening parabola so this is a parabola which is having focus 0 comma a and directrix y is equal to minus a what is the equation i think you have correctly understood here it is x square is equal to 4ay here x is a square and y is having power 1 because it is symmetric about y axis we are taking focus on y axis and we have lastly a category of parabola which is called downward opening parabola and now you have become expert and they can easily say that this is a parabola x square is equal to minus 4ay where focus is 0 comma minus a and directrix is y is equal to a. So these are basically four cases which we generally see when the parabola is passing through the origin. Yeah, when the vertex is at the origin. At the origin. The point here is called vertex and vertex can be defined as a point if we take a point focus anywhere. We take a line directrix anywhere. Not only this, anywhere. Then if we draw a perpendicular on this line, the midpoint is called vertex and the parabola would be something like this. So this is basically vertex and everywhere then we are taking vertex as origin. Now, so we can also have parabola when the vertex is not at the origin. Yeah, surely. Is there any name for those parabola different from this parabola? Actually. There is no another name, that is the general equation of a parabola, which when we will study maths, there we will see a very general equation of all the conics. So for example, if you have a parabola like this, sorry, this is not a parabola, so let me draw it better way. This is a parabola, this is obviously a parabola as it seems. So basically what happens here, there is a vertex, which we can roughly understand that this is a vertex. And there is a line, this line is called axis of the parabola. And there would be somewhere a focus, alpha comma beta here, not a comma zero or something. There is a line which may have equation ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. So anywhere we have a point which is called focus, anywhere, any type of line we have which is directrix. So what simply we have to do that join the focus to directrix by a perpendicular line and take the midpoint which is the vertex and draw the parabola so I'm not going to do the detail because in physics you don't need it yeah. right now so basically this is a parabola and in parabola the distance from focus is equal to the distance from the directrix in case of ellipse distance from focus is less than the distance from directrix and when we come, come to hyperbola then we will see that distance from focus is greater than distance of from directrix. So three types of conic space based on the value of eccentricity. Now if I give, give you a question and this question I expect that you will do and we will discuss in the next lecture. So if I will generally ask you that there is a point which is 2 comma 0 and there is a line which is x is equal to minus 4. So this is not a parabola which is among these four. This is some another parabola which I will discuss in the next class, but uh, next lecture. But before that, you should try to find out by the knowledge you you have gathered here. So this is basically a shifted parabola, easy shifted parabola. So this is a directrix. This is a focus. Can you find 
the equation of parabola whose focus is given, whose directrix is given and can you draw that parabola? This is a work for you with which you will come in the next video and you will see the answer and some more theories about it and the shifted parabola. So that is all for this lecture students, we will meet in the next lecture and I think in the next lecture when we will tell them uh, many other things about parabola that will be applied by you in physics also, also. also part of physics where we will discuss the application of parabola so just you should solve this question this will give you insight of the parabola and then you will be better able to understand and apply the concept of parabola in physics thank you students thank you